Hello, my name is Chad Cromwell, and this is a quick demonstration of my HTML5 game, Ants. Now, this is Chrome that I have open here. Um, on your system, you would navigate to your local host folder. Uh, I have mine in a subfolder called Game. However, on your, uh, on your system, you should just probably navigate to localhost port 8888 slash index.php, and that will bring up the game for you. So yeah, this is the game Ants. This is the, the front page that greets you. Uh, there's a sign up button, a guest button, a login button, and you have two buttons up here in the corner. Uh, that one's for muting and unmuting sound effects and one's for muting and unmuting music. This one here is for sound effects and this one here is for the music. Um, yeah, so on the front page, if you click sign up, it'll bring up a, a window where you can enter a username, a password, and an email, and you can register to the server, and it will create an account for you, and it will save all of your progress on the server. So when you come back and play, um, all your progress will be saved. If you click on guest, you'll proceed to the game, but you won't have an account, and it will not save your progress for you. Um, so I do suggest creating creating an account. Um, your password and stuff is stored securely. It's hashed, so we can't read it. Um, there's no way for us to guess it, basically. Um, so that information is safe. Uh, and then login button. I already have an account, so I'm going to click login. And a little window here pops up. You can enter your email and your password, and you can click login. If you click, if you check off Remember Me, um, it creates an authenticated session on the server for 90 days uh, and saves that token on the database and on your computer in a cookie. Um, so yeah, when you come back to the game again, you don't have to log in because you're already authenticated, and it, it does a bunch of work on the back end to make sure that's all, all good and all right, and it will log you in. Um, so yeah, that's a little handy feature if you don't want to have to click login every time. Now, just click login, and I'm logged in. Um, so it says, welcome back, Chad. Chad's my name. Um, now we have four buttons here. The logout button, obviously, that will log me out and bring me back to the page that we were just on. Now the windmill button, towers button, and the play button. Let's click on the windmill button. And what it shows is my total XP that I have gained through my entire career playing the game. Um, this will show you your amount as well. Um, the game does uh, save your stats every 30 seconds, so if you end up closing the window or have to go or, or something happens, you'll only lose, lose 30 seconds of your, of your progress, so you don't have to worry about saving or doing any of that. Um, also here we have a wood button, stone button, concrete button, and a steel button. Everybody starts out with a wood windmill. Um, you can unlock stone, concrete, and steel um, as you gain XP through the game. Uh, on my account, I have them all, all unlocked. On a new account, these will be grayed out and the amount of XP needed will be displayed. Um, and each material changes the look of your windmill and it gives your windmill more hit points so you can last longer in the game. So let's pick steel. We'll use steel for the demonstration. And this is the towers screen when you click on towers. It shows you all the towers that are available in the current version of the game. You have a slingshot tower, a hammer tower, bug spray tower, magnifying glass, cannon, and honey tower. Um, underneath you have the status, uh, your progress for your tiers. I've unlocked, every, sorry, every tower has two paths and four tiers each. Um, so on the slingshot you can see I've unlocked all of the tiers and same thing for the hammer and a few others. Um, but here on the magnifying glass, um, tier path one, tier three has been unlocked, but I still have 400, sorry, 4,158 XP to go until I unlock tier four. Um, so yeah, same idea for all the other ones. Bug spray still have some, some, some uh, XP to gain, 779. And on cannon, I have a little more to go for path one as well. Um, each t sorry, each path on a on a tower um, in the game, you can click on your tower and you can purchase the upgrades for that tower if they're unlocked. Um, you can only go past tier two in one path. If you go past tier two, let's say on path one, um, you can only upgrade up to tier two on path two at that point. So you can go all the way up to four on path one and only up to two on path two, vice versa. So let's go to play. Uh, you can pick your level, easy, medium, or hard. Easy levels have really winding paths, um, so ants spend a lot more time trying to get to the windmill. So you have a lot more um, space to place your towers and a lot more time to kill the ants off before they reach your windmill. Um, as the 
difficulty rises in the levels. Um, the paths get straighter. Um, there's less area to build towers. It gets a lot more difficult. On the hard, like the path is practically straight, and there's very little space to build your towers, so it, it can be quite difficult. Um, let's pick easy for the demo. And then now you can choose your difficulty, which is different from the level selection. Uh, easy, there's no there's no modifiers involved. Um, all the towers cost the base amounts. In medium, the cost for the towers goes up by 25%. So you need to earn 25% more gold to to get to the level of defense you would have on easy. And now on hard, it's 50% more. So slingshot would cost 100, 100 gold in easy. It'd be 125 in medium and 150 on hard. That doesn't sound like a lot, but when you start getting into upgrades and they're high costs, it, it really it really means you have to manage your, your gold and your placements and all of that a lot more than you would have to on easy. But for demonstration purposes, let's just choose easy <laughs> because it's easy. Um, so yeah, the music starts playing once the, the game loads and you start playing. Um, Chrome doesn't allow you to start playing music right when you arrive on a, on a web page. So I had to change how that works a little bit for this game. Um, you can push M to mute the music if you want, or you can just click the mute button up there, mute music, and it's muted. Same thing for your sound effects. You can click it and mute them, or click it to unmute. You can use S as well to toggle that, or M for your music. Um, so yeah, with that out of the way, um, this is the main play area. This is the path the ants will take to get to your windmill. And as you can see, the windmill is steel, and I have 250 hit points. A wood one would look like wood, and it only has 100 hit points. Um, you start with 150 gold in easy mode. In the medium mode and the hard mode, you, you start with a tiny bit more gold um, to help you start out, because otherwise you're you're doomed <laughs> from the beginning. Uh, Difficulty is listed here, and wave is listed up in the top there, the current wave that you'd be on. The menu button here, if you click it, it lets you quit back to the main menu. I'm not going to do that, though. We'll close that off. Um, on the left-hand side is your tower bar where you can purchase towers. Um, the grayed-out ones means you don't have enough gold to buy them, and a little tooltip pops up telling you that. Um, but the ones that are in full color and full alpha, like the slingshot, it means you can purchase it, you have enough gold to buy it, and the tooltip will tell you that. Same thing for the honey. Uh, honey doesn't do any damage, it only slows them down, so be sure you buy some buy a slingshot in the beginning. Um, let's buy that, and sorry, click it, you purchase it, you can see the gold's gone down to 50 in, at the top there. If I click on uh, the grass, I can place it. Um, you can't put it on paths or over obstacles like trees. As you can see, it gets, gets grayed out there. It goes transparent when you can't place it. Um, or you can click cancel. If you didn't mean to purchase that tower, you can cancel and get all your money back. So I canceled. I have 150 gold back. But we do want to place that. Let's put it down there. Um, in the bottom here is the start button. Uh, when I click start, the, the game will really begin and the wave will start. Um, speed button down here speeds the game up. You can speed it up to three times. Um, once it's on the times three speed, if you click it again, it will actually slow down. That's the tooltip tells you. So yeah, we're on speed one. Uh, let's start the wave, and you can see what happens. An ant will appear, a brown ant, the weakest ant, and it gets destroyed by the slingshot. Uh, it has one HP. Each ant, um, there's different ants, they all have different colors, different HPs, and different speeds, and different resistances, and, and a bunch of different things. Um, you have like a brown ant, a blue ant, a green ant, yellow ant, purple ant, black, white, red, there's a beetle, there's, there's lots of them. Um, but a blue ant, it has two hit points, and it moves a little bit quicker than a brown ant. But if you hit the blue ant, um, it goes down to one HP, and it turns into a brown ant and slows down. Um, so that adds a bit of variance to the game. It makes it a little more fun. But let's start the next wave, and we'll just uh, get this tower doing some damage. So the sound effects are running. Um, I can, I'm going to mute them for the demo. I'll just push S and mute them. Uh, if you hover over your tower, it gives you a little tool tip that tells you the name, the type of the tower, um, your path upgrades, nothing's been upgraded yet, uh, what target it, it, that, that tower itself is prioritizing, and how many kills that tower has achieved so far. 
So this tower has killed 21 ants, um, and it's targeting the closest ant. If we actually click on the tower, the left menu here changes to to like the info tower for this actual tower that you selected. Um, you can sell the tower if you want. I don't want to do that yet. Um, you can change the target priority. You can switch it to first, last, strongest, or closest. Um, I mean, if you hover over, it shows you that, that it's changed to strongest. Uh, the green here also shows you what you've actually selected. I'll leave it with closest. Um, first, we'll always shoot the ant that's in the first, at the front of the line, uh, within your range. Last, we'll shoot the ant that's at the back of the line, within your range. Uh, closest is obviously the closest ant to the tower, and strongest will shoot the ant with the highest hit points within range. We'll leave it on closest for now. Uh, path one's not upgraded yet, so this little area tells you what upgrade what upgrades you have. Um, this little button here is the the upgrade button, so we can upgrade to the first tier, which is a plus one to range, and it costs 50 gold. Um, there's your path two it's not upgraded yet, or I can upgrade path 2 if I want to do two shots. Let's upgrade path 2. Clicked it. Um, these are now gray because we don't have enough money to buy them. Um, however, this here is, you can see that the, um, the sprite has changed to show the upgrade. So all the sprites will look different. They'll be all different colors and the projectiles change color and, and all that to reflect various upgrades that your towers have. Um, so you can see now path two has been upgraded to two shots. So what we'll do, um, click off the tower for now. Actually, no, quickly, I'll, I'll touch base. I mentioned it, but um, this here, this little overlay is the range overlay. It shows you how far your, your tower can actually shoot. So any ant that walks within that uh, circle is, is fodder for, for the tower. Let's start the next wave. You can push the space bar as well if you want to pause the game or play or click the button as well. Uh, let's speed it up and get a little gold going. Actually, I am in the admin account, so I can do a little magic here and add a bunch of gold to my player. Can't do that in regular accounts. Um, privileges. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I can show you now what will happen if you upgrade fully. So let's upgrade the, the second path all the way up as high as you can go. So you can see path two now has four shots. Uh, it fires four projectiles, basically, uh, and each of them do two damage. You can see that it, it's now black. Uh, that's showing the upgrade. And path one now, since we've gone past path two, sorry, since we've gone past tier two on the second path, uh, we can only go up to tier two on the first path. So we'll upgrade to tier one. It's plus, plus one to the range, and we'll get the range up to plus two. And now it shows you can't upgrade because of how the way the unlocking system works. But now we have pretty good coverage uh, with this slingshot. Now I can push space to start the next wave, or I can click off and click on the, uh, the play button. Let's we'll push space though. Start it. And you can see now it's shooting orange projectiles, and it's shooting, I think three is what we have it set to. Uh, no, four shots actually, shooting four shots. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it's going to hold its own pretty well for a little while. Um, but what I'll do, I'm going to put one little slingshot here. And I'm going to sell this so you can see what happens when a blue ant gets hit. See how it changes to a brown ant and slows down? That's pretty much how all the ants work. Um, I'll hit it there. Cool. Uh, and you'll see that as the ants get tougher as you play, you'll see that they, they slowly shift down in color and get slower. Um, let's show you a few other towers before the demo is over. We'll add a hammer tower. We'll add a bug spray tower over here. Throw a cannon tower up here. And I'll chuck a honey tower here. The honey slows down ants. Um, the different paths all give these towers different abilities. Um, something that you'll have to look through and play through and figure out yourself. Um, and all the ants have different resistances, not all of them, but a few of them resist certain things, like a white ant can't be slowed down by honey, um, armored ants can only be damaged by hammers, um, red ants can't be hurt by magnifying glasses, which are super powerful towers, which I'll actually pop one over here in the corner so you can see it. Um, yeah, so you'll, you'll figure that out as you play. But let's start this wave with spacebar. You can see it's slowing down the ants a little bit at its base and out. 
mean, if you upgrade it further, it can stop ants dead in their tracks if you if you dump enough enough money into it. Um, let's sell it so you can watch the uh, hammer. So the hammer is just smacking every ant that goes in front of it. Uh, it it's kind of weak in the beginning, but you can upgrade it and get it to be a lot more powerful. Um, the bug spray is quite handy, as you see in the corner there. Let's get rid of the hammer. It's coming through the corner. It, it does AOE damage, so it shoots out eight different uh, projectiles and can hit quite a few ants. Um, so it's very useful. You can upgrade it to shoot out 12, so it, it annihilates pretty much everything that comes close to it. Let's get rid of that, and you can now see what the cannon is like. The cannon fires a cannonball and does splash damage. Actually, nope, the magnifying glass is going to take over because it has a huge range. Um, but yeah, so you see that cannon, it'll shoot and it does splash damage, so it will hurt ants within the area that the cannonball explodes. Um, and you can upgrade that splash damage, the range, and, and all of that as well. Uh, magnifying glass, yeah, it has a very massive range. I mean, you can upgrade it to be extremely, extremely large. 10 damage, you can upgrade it to do 3 shots, so it's pumping out 30, 30 damage each time it shoots, um, which is really, really high. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically the how it works. Um, that's how the game works, how you how you play it. Uh, if you get to level six, sorry, wave 64, that means you've technically won the game. You've lasted long enough to, to win. Um, but after wave 64, new ants start to appear. There are some crazy shielded ones like ants that hide under styrofoam cups and soda cans and rocks and, and different things like that um, that once you break it it splits off into other shields and those shields split off into a bunch of different ants and it gets uh, pretty hectic um, but you can keep playing and keep getting your gold and your experience points um, to unlock different paths in your towers uh, if you make it to level sorry wave 101 that is the final wave it has 100 of each type of ant that's available in the game and it's completely randomized and it keeps going um, so each time you beat that wave it will just spew out another hundred hundreds and hundreds of ants at you um, all all randomized so sometimes the waves get really hard sometimes they're a little easier depending on on luck of the draw um, but it will just continue at that point in basically insane mode until until your tower gets destroyed or, or you quit. Um, but again, after wave 64, you've considered to be a winner at that point. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That is uh, Ants. Um, hopefully you have fun playing it and that it, it brings you some, some joy. <laughs> All right, thank you.